few years ago when I tried to imagine what Iran looked like, I, I couldn't even bring a picture to mind because we've been so censored in America. I've been paragliding for 20 years. I'm on the U.S. national team, hold numerous records. I've won multiple titles. You know, I've done all these things. Yet, as I've aged, I've wanted to use these skills I've learned to experience and show the world what places like Iran look like. The people, uh, the country, um, you know, just what it is. So the day has come. My visa is waiting for me, my 30-day visa. So by 10 p.m. tomorrow, I'll be on a plane to Tehran. Thank you. I'm feeling a mixture of excitement to meet the paragliding community and to finally see what is behind this veil of media mystery, uh, to see, see the culture, meet the people. You know, paragliding in Iran is a sport that is growing massively. One of the things I was impressed with was how many women participated in the sport there. Once you leave the ground in Iran, all the societal struggles, all of the gender issues fade away. But to fly in the thermos, to cross country, all of them, he's the mentor of the Iranian. And can you ask him how, how he thinks the... He can speak English. Oh, you can? Yeah, also Spanish. <laughs> One of the interesting things about traveling as a sportsman is that you know you really do have a common basis, this, this common shared knowledge. And that's an amazing starting place. Sohel is a World Cup pilot and arguably one of the best pilots Iran has ever produced. We became friends on Facebook, uh, of all places. We kind of became mutual fans. He lived at home, as many Iranians of his age do, and, and every day he, you know, his parents would question you know, what he was doing with his life. And I think in a lot of ways he was questioning what he was doing with his life. For example, he asked me, you know, well, what happens when you win the World Cup? And you know, I had a really hard time. I, I actually couldn't tell him. You know, and, but in my mind I was saying, you know, nothing, nothing happens. Going to the work, work, work. On the Saturday morning, going to the work and back in the night, and again repeated for all the week. And after married, and after get, you know, get, have a baby, and after sick, and after die, it's a normal lifestyle in, in Iran. I don't like it. I have, I like to have a different lifestyle, not normal, not usual. You know, so my father stay there and say to me, stop competition, back to your norm, your normal lifestyle. Stop to spend money for competition. Buy car, buy home. Get married. Always I think about it. People who are enamored and impassioned by uh, a sport or an activity sometimes, you know, have a hard time even reconciling the realities that they face. You don't win any money. There's not fame, it's not fortune. It's something that we do as an individual pursuit. was incredible low flying dunes sand beautiful 
So, Hill, how was your flight? Good, perfect. Perfect? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so Hill and I could talk for hours, and it's the same conversations that we're having in the U.S. with my flying friends here. Everybody is, you know, up in the sky focused on their craft, and that is an amazing thing. participate in an activity that makes life just really simple, it simplifies everything to this one path, this one focus. You can truly say that once you leave the ground, everything is equal.